As Kashmir witnessed an eye emergency over the years, many families preferred outside eye clinics for the critical treatment. But now, it is changing. Times have changed. In terms of eye care, Kashmir is far, far better than most of the states where the eye care is provided. A corneal transplant surgery would cost not less than 1 lakh rupees there. And in Kashmir, we are doing the same surgery, same way, for about 30 to 35,000. After a long deliberation with her family and calculation of the projected costs, 50-year-old Halima also changed her plans and decided to get a surgery at a Srinagar-based eye clinic. Halima has come to treat her cataract, a common eye condition that leads to the clouding of eye lenses and a blurry vision. What we are going to do in this patient, we are going to remove her the own lens, opaque lens, and then implant a new, fresh lens, what we are going to do. And this surgery will be done without any anesthetic injection. We are not going to apply any stitches, and we are not going to put any patch after the surgery. And she will be able to start seeing well within a few hours. Experts believe that the medical intervention can only help if the disease is identified and treated at the right time. But some patients, like Shaheen or Begum, are often unaware of their eye problems till the time it becomes irreparable. I have seen a diabetic patient who has a diabetes for 15 years and has not been able to check eyes. This is the most unfortunate part. Whenever a patient comes to our centre, they are almost blind by one eye or the other. In Srinagar, 1 out of 10 adults aged about 20 are diabetic as per a study by GMC. And diabetes is among the leading causes of impairment and blindness, which is why doctors suggest regular eye checkups. Apart from cataract, as I told you before, diabetic retinopathy is a leading cause of blindness in Kashmir. The best way to prevent the development of diabetic retinopathy is that to have regular eye checkups. Apart from tackling these common eye ailments, the situational assault on eyes makes ophthalmologists like Dr. Khurshid to attend a crisis situation every now and then. Over the years, we have had a large number of palate injuries who have come here to seek our help. Uh, one thing we, we have observed with these palate injuries is that most of the eyes are damaged beyond repair. The damage to the inside of the eyes is such that even if we operate, they need number of surgeries, not one surgery, and even after performing three to four surgeries, the visual prognosis is very poor. Over the years, doctors in Kashmir have gained a certain amount of experience in dealing with pellet trauma. Now, ocular trauma is a subspecialty here. We are in touch with a very renowned uh, ophthalmologist in India. His name is Dr. S. Natarajan. So our hospital, our center is in regular touch with him, those patients who are not, we are not able to treat them, either he comes here, treats them here, or we send the patients here. At present, Dr. Khurshid and his team are working to foster preventive approaches to eye care. They conduct eye camps in and outside the valley every year and travel hundreds of kilometers to set up mobile clinics, mostly in areas where there is no access to eye care. By holding eye camps in far-flung areas, we can detect a lot of people. It is those people who need us more because they, for them coming to Srinagar to seek medical or eye care is impossible. Although with the advanced technology, the future of eye care looks promising. However, newer challenges like excessive screen usage could become a threat if not dealt properly, especially for newer generations. Today, because everyone is going for digital mode of learning, so our refractive errors have increased. There are very small children's eyes that are so near work, so many computers, so many computers, phones, they are not made for this. They are made, you know, to be playing outside. An adult can tell you what the problem is, but a child can't do that. A child can see a little bit more technically difficult, but Alhamdulillah, here at this facility, we have the expertise, our uh, equipment, everything is here, which we can see easily. Ko. 
Besides lifestyle changes, certain myths along with the fear of treatment is what is keeping many patients away from getting a normal vision on a clear eyesight.